coalition to see that who rules up here. I think it's a good um, opportunity to remind folks that the coalition um, represents 300 distinct uh, fishing entities and um, 500 permit holders in, in the uh, in the fishery in the Northeast Fishery. <coughs> Just to get to the motions, um, the Southern New England Winter Flounder, we fully support that approach. Uh, we think that's uh, the one mitigating potential uh, measure that's in this entire plan that we see going forward. Um, something we pointed out at the Ground Fish Committee, though, we just, once again, we entered into a 10-year rebuilding program, started immediately. We talk about we have the reason why the three-year catch levels are so conservative are because we have no faith in projections outside the, the immediate year in front of us. Yet, we signed up for a 10-year rebuilding program that basically takes a 10-year projection, sets the target, and heads us on our way to potentially disaster again. So just to let, let us be aware, I'm, I, I still don't understand why we accept 10-year rebuilding plans with long-term projections and then say, but the short-term advice is too risky because of projections and we're going to lower the catch. So just wanted to point that out. Aside from that, you know, you might want to note that so it's in the record when you sign up for this rebuilding plan so that you look at it in two years uh, and reassess the reference points. Um, Gulf of Maine Cod. Got Amendment 18, got a lot of different discussions about fleet diversity and, and accumulation limits coming up. And I can tell you, no question, 1250, 1500, or 1800 metric tons when you take the state fishery and recreational component out of it is not enough to sustain an inshore fishery at all. That's game over, inshore Gulf of Maine. Uh, that's for sure. If you couple that with this year, cash rates have been low on cod. But catch rates on Cape Cod Yellowtail and Graysol have been high. Um, a lot of the guys got by this year because of that combination of flats and cod. Cape Cod Yellowtail are being cut drastically, and Graysol is being cut more than 50%, while the cod quota is being taken off the table. I just think it's important, it's tough to support a motion that says this is the best we got. That's all the alternatives that you got as managers basically collapse the fishery. Now, the guys get bigger boats and go to George's Bank, we get George's Bank Yellowtail. You know, still haven't dealt with George's Bank Yellowtail. So it really doesn't matter what you got for quota for winter flounder out there or, or haddock or if we open closed area two, a lot of guys have two baskets of yellowtail to work with. So, you know, you, we're on the heels of a disaster talked about mitigating uh, measures. We know there's no disaster assistance that looks like it's coming anytime soon. Um, the agency had to announce because of their budget, we got 50% of the monitoring is going to be laid on the industry and the quota is all being taken off the table. So to the extent there's a room full of people today, it's, uh, I'm not sure what you folks can do. So I hope what you do after these three motions is to start to figure out how you can actually have a fishery that's the fish, fishermen, the industry, and support structure, because you do not have that on paper after these motions. So we support the Southern New England winter flounder, um, but the rest were just, you know, there's nothing to support. You know, it's game over for just about everybody on that. Um, and the other thing, it's pretty difficult for us that uh, folks that recognize through Amendment 16 that once we go to a hard tack fishery, and we allocate this under the Magnuson the rules that we were going to head off in a direction that we were going to at least have some business stability. Now the bucket's totally fallen out. And, you know, people will want to point to it was the, it was the sector's fault. I mean, we, we have not set up the science um, recommendations coupled with the management uh, precautions put in place to sustain the fishery. You're at the end right now. I mean, this is what this is what we're seeing. I do not have a member that can come to our board and say, "How do I get by next year?" We used to be able to give them an answer, and we're out of answers. 